Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through comparing quantities. In the previous class, we learned to calculate compound interest, compounded, yearly. That is, for one year, two years, three years, four years, etc. In this session, we compute the compound interest, half yearly. What does the interest compounded half yearly mean? Yes, the interest is compounded half yearly means, we compute the interest every six months. An amount is compounded twice a year. Let's explain by doing a problem. Calculate the amount to be repaid on a loan of 12,000 rupees for one year at 10% per annum compounded half yearly. Here we have principal P equals 12,000 rupees. Number of years N equals one year, which is two half years. And rate of interest are equals 10%. Now, find the interest and amount for the first half year. Here, we take the principal for first half year as P1 equals 12,000 rupees. So, the interest for first half year, I1 equals P1 NR divided by 100 equals 12,000 rupees multiplied by 1 by 2 multiplied by 10, the whole divided by 100 equals 12,000 rupees, multiplied by 1, multiplied by 10, the whole divided by 2, multiplied by 100. That is, I1, equals 600 rupees. Now, the amount at the end of first half year. A1 equals P1 plus I1, equals 12,000 rupees, plus 600 rupees. That is, A1 equals 12,600 rupees. This is the principal for the second period. So for second half year, principal P2 equals 12,600 rupees. Therefore, interest for second half year, I2 equals P2 NR divided by 100 equals 12,600 rupees multiplied by 1 by 2 multiplied by 10, the whole divided by 100 equals 12,600 rupees multiplied by 1, multiplied by 10, the whole divided by 2, multiplied by 100 equals 630 rupees. Then, the amount to be paid at the end of second half year, A2 equals P2 plus I2 equals 12,600 rupees plus 630 rupees equals 13,230 rupees this is the amount to be paid at the end of one year from the above calculation we can say the interest is calculated every six months and the amount is compounded twice a year did you notice one thing here, the interest is compounded half yearly, so we compute the interest two times, and the rate of interest becomes halved. We know that there are two half years in a year. So we can say that when interest compounded half yearly, number of years n becomes two and half years, and rate of interest r becomes r by two for every half year. We can generalize this as if principal equals p rate of interest equals r number of years equals n then the amount will be a equals p multiplied by 1 plus r by 2 divided by 100 the whole raised to 2n and the compound interest is ci equals a minus p equals p multiplied by 1 plus r by 2 
divided by 100, the whole raised to 2n, minus p, equals p, multiplied by 1 plus, r by 2, divided by 100, whole raised to 2n, minus 1. Let's do the above problem, with the generalized equation. We have P equals 12,000 rupees. N equals 1 year. R equals 10%. We know that A equals P multiplied by 1 plus R by 2 divided by 100, the whole raised to 2N. Equals 12,000 rupees multiplied by 1 plus 10 by 2 divided by 100 the whole raised to 2 multiplied by 1 equals 12,000 rupees multiplied by 1 plus 5 divided by 100 the whole raised to 2 equals 12,000 rupees multiplied by 1 plus 1 divided by 20 the whole raised to 2 equals 12,000 rupees, multiplied by 21, divided by 20, the whole raised to 2, equals 12,000 rupees, multiplied by 21, divided by 20, multiplied by 21, divided by 20, equals 13,230 rupees. That is, amount to be repaid at the end of one year, when the interest is compounded half yearly as rupees, 13,230. Let's have a quick recap. Today we discussed how to calculate the amount and interest compounded half yearly. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Find the compound interest of 30,000 rupees for two years at the rate of 6%, compounded half yearly. That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting topic.